Myanmar's state-sponsored genocide in August 2017 triggered an influx of Rohingya nationals into Bangladesh. By January 2018, around 750,000 Rohingya left their native land, Northern Rakhine. The whole sad event of no birth land rights for Rohingyas has generated a massive humanitarian crisis in this region. Welcome to another episode of The Brain brought to you by Press Express. This is your host, Masuma Rahman Nabila. For decades, the Rohingya have endured a violence, discrimination and persecution by the Myanmar military junta. Over a million of them have sought safety in Bangladesh first in 1990. On the acts of Myanmar's state brutality, Rohingyas had fled their country, with half of them children. On the very core responsibility of humanity, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina opened arms to the refugees and ensured essential provisions such as food, shelter and health care. Over 1.2 million Rohingya refugees now live in Bangladesh. Most of them are in refugee camps in Cox's Bazar region, making up about one-third of the region's total population and have contributed to a social and ecological disaster for the local inhabitants. The Prime Minister stated that Bangladesh has entered the seventh year of the prolonged Rohingya crisis without witnessing the return of a single Rohingya to their home that are continuing to put strain on Bangladesh's GDP and economy. In Bangladesh, I have already 160 million people in my country. What is our land boundary? I can't take any other burden. I can't take it. My country cannot bear. Despite the Bangladesh government's strong diplomatic efforts for repatriation, the Myanmar government has been very unwilling to take back their nationals, the Rohingyas. What happened in Myanmar? It is inhuman. What is the crime of the children or women or the innocent people? They should take them back, all those who left the country, you know, since 78 it has started. The genocide uh, perpetrated against the Rohingya community uh, has uh, branded Myanmar as a pariah state uh, due to its egregious actions. Uh, so I think there are three consequences of this uh, severe human rights violence. First of all, a genocide case against the Myanmar regime is currently underway in the International Court of Justice. Uh, secondly, the government faces increased global economic sanctions and other punitive measures. And th thirdly, uh, the internal cohesion of Myanmar is uh, further compromised due to these atrocities contributing to the deterioration of national integration. There is an urgent call from Bangladesh to the global community to get engaged in more active diplomacy for the safe return of Rohingyas to their motherland. Indeed, in every means, repatriation of Rohingya is the only solution to the Myanmar-generated inhuman crisis. <laughs> 